Right, so we have Tom Collins, proprietor of Think Prints. Um, would you like to just explain your uh, business briefly? Well, um, Think Drinks is a um, draft of drinks company. We manufacture our own uh, lemonade cola products. Yeah. It's specifically uh, the draft guns in pubs and clubs. Right. So we make the product here on site. Um, we effectively give our clients the machine, which costs us a lot of money. Um, we install that into their premises and then we repeat sell the lemonade, the coke, the lime, the energy drink right. through the system. That's how we get our revenue. And we're looking at um, building systems, but what was the problem that you were trying to uh, address? Well, um, when we give the clients the machine, um, it's not like a coffee machine necessarily, which is one single item. It's a complexity of different items with different specifications, different pumps, cooling capacity, numbers of, of dispensers. So our engineers are very skilled in, in installing them, um, but obviously as we move on to the next one and the next one, we need to remember and track where the old machines are and know that they're either working, that they're cost effective, we can track sales against the cost of installation right. and make yeah. sure that we basically, we, we give them the machine and they, they use it enough. Yeah. So the systems we needed to, to, or we're looking to, to build or, and have been building are how, um, where is that stock and, and how do we monitor it and control it along with booking the engineer into the job getting him to site, keeping the customer happy, yeah, yeah. And, 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 yeah, and working yeah. through. So it's, it's, yeah. it's the, 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 the workflow from yeah. inquiry, either sales inquiry or fault, through to completion in an organised fashion, yeah. rather than you know pads yeah. of paper and headless chickens. So I understand that you're going through a bit of a growth period now, and you've taken over a, a Company Another company, yes, yeah. So with the the new business, it's it's suddenly ah we've got more. We suddenly had um, about fifty percent more machines or clients come on board. Yeah. So it's it's a case of right now we've really got to really got to make sure we know each client because whereas when we were smaller it's fine we we knew the landlord by name and we know the pub and you know we go there quite often so it's okay but suddenly it expands into another animal and that's really that's really what we're, we're asking ourselves is how can we now scale the company yeah. so that um, it, we don't need to keep taking on a store and a, and, and a, and a warehouse up here and up there so when, when we, we're taking on a client in Peterborough yeah. miles away from us we need to operate that with basically a guy in a van in Peterborough we don't want to to rent garages or yeah. containers and stuff, so I think to have massive warehouses of stock. Mm, and I think, but I don't think we need it if we can really, really understand where our stock is, where our stock control is, where our workflow is, and how to 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 to, to get the old kit back using couriers. That's fine. We, I think that's the theory's there. Yeah. But what we need is a system that tracks it. So, yeah. it, and and we, we we we've tried it without using anything terribly high level and and in fact you need the detail in, yeah. and you yeah. suddenly yeah the guy up there where it is Birmingham or I've done it I've changed it oh great oh, problem solved right. then all of a sudden you think to yourself well, what happened to that kitten is that customer happy now do we need to follow the call up yeah. and so there's a lot going on and the team need to work off one center base yeah and I think that's what we yeah. that, that, Agile base is going to give us. Yeah. Okay, thanks very much, Tom. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, Oliver.